black light. Let the dungeons and the dragons begin. It's D&D. Fighting with the legends of yore. Hey guys, it's Rotha Goleman. Welcome back to Sword Coast Legends. Jar Hill just leveled last uh, episode because we were able to gain entrance into the rat's hideout. So now they're going to let us in. Hopefully they're literally just going to let us pass. Although, I don't know if that's going to be the case because they're appearing as red dots. So, Good I don't idea. know. Let's find out what happens here. And please service. stay on Dorian for now. Alright, All right, we just ended. In. Now, you're not going to do anything to make me regret this, are you? No promises. Uh, wouldn't dream of it. Actually, we just came in to finish the job. Attack! Yay! I don't know how many there are. I'm not going to do that. Wouldn't Good. dream of it. Then we're on the same page. Just head straight through and try not to bother the others. And if anyone asks, I wasn't the one that let you in. Oh yeah, no, the uh, the gate guard was definitely not the one who let us in through the gate. All right, so yeah, so despite the fact that we can apparently talk to these guys, they are still coming up as hostile on the mini map. So right I think it's probably best if we don't dilly around too long. Ooh, I wonder if I could buy from the quartermaster. Oh well. Um, of course. Yeah, I don't want to delay in here too long. I can I, do that. With my luck, we'll like overstay our welcome or something. As you wish. And oh my God, there were a lot of guys in here. Titus. Titus, what's up? Well, you have something for me here. So, ever watchful Rick and saw fit to allow a bunch of outsiders into our base. That's nice, wonderful even. I trust the bribe wasn't too hard on your coin purse. Uh, you know we keep the doors barred for a reason, yes? Enemies all around us, watching, bearing down. Can't be too careful, can't allow strangers inside. Strangers could be very dangerous, you see. Uh, and yet here you are, plain as day and armed to the teeth. So tell me, can you be trusted? We're just passing through. Well, pass on then. Don't let me stop you. The sooner you're out of here, the sooner we stop fidgeting with our daggers. Well, thank you very much for that. Uh, not that we suspect you of anything. No, no. We just like to be careful. You understand, yes? Uh, yeah, we're not enemies. So you say, but words are cheap. We've lost much to those who claim to be friends. Our enemies are very clever, very clever. So forgive us if we don't take your word for it. Fair enough. If you wish to prove yourself, well then, perhaps we can make a deal. Scratch my back, I scratch yours. Yes, what kind of a deal? What did you have in mind? Uh, we need, uh, we are in need of many supplies. Things one can't find down here. Things only on the surface. Oh, okay. It's trouble for us on the surface. Too many watchers, too many waiting enemies. But you don't have that problem, at least not yet. True. I give you a list of things we need. You go and fetch. Simple, yes. I'll take care of that. Good, good. Here, I've written a list. Uh, what? Don't give me that look. I write just fine. See? You're a rat, so I don't think you do. Uh, meet with our old friend Miranda in the slums. Uh, she still owes us a favor or two. Show her that list, and she can find what we need. Fair. All right. Uh, if not, well, you're resourceful, yes? Um, I'm a cleric. I'm not a rogue. I can be resourceful, but pretty much right my away. resourcefulness ends it. If diplomacy doesn't At work, what? kill it. Of course. I think we're just passing through here I now. Dead rat fighter, dead rat... Yeah, there were a lot of dead As rats down here. Oh, do I dare? I dare. Don't mind Rise me, guys. Just stealing your shit. Might be actually be on... Uh, Did you need something? I gotta remember that's not tab for the maps. There's a door over here and a passage there. Which At way what? do I go, Doc? Which way do I go? Of course. Playgrounds. I'll help you. I'll help you. Well, thank you. I'm just journeying with us for no reason. Oh, God. So I guess this must be the way to pass through. Jarhill, can... get out Was of that all? You know what? I kind of want to inspect that door. See what the uh, the deal right is. Or is that, that's not the door I came through. Is it? No, I came down from over here. At once. So what are... Oh, you're locked. Of course. Uh, I can do that. As you wish. Do I dare? Requires a key. Okay. So then right obviously away. I'm not going to get through that door if I don't have a key. Um, At once. Maybe once I gain their trust, they'll let me through in there. Of course. Don't know what's in there, but it would be kind of cool to find out. But yeah, it's looking like this is going to be the way to go then. I can do that. What do we have down here? Anything bad? Anything good? Absolutely. Nothing at all. Okay. Right away. All right. Mysterious stranger, how are you? We meet again. I was hoping to find you all once more, and in less awkward conditions. Uh-oh. Are you following us? What are you doing here? 
following up with Luskin's newest persons of interest, of course. I must be admit, us. I'm very intrigued about the packages you brought in here with you. Ooh. I guess I have you to thank for the decline in the local rat population. I'm sorry. What? Huh. The dead rats. You're the ones taking them out, right? Kind of. Normally, I'd be more upset over someone meddling in my business, but I recognize artistry when I see it. This is a cleric. Poisoning their food supplies was an excellent idea. Oh. You certainly get the job done. Uh huh. Poison. What was in those packages? That scheming bitch had us doing our dirty work. You mean, you didn't even know? <laughs> Oh, guys, D&D lesson for you right here. Always look inside the package or the bag or whatever have you. Um, the Dragon Fisters and I actually ran a quick campaign where we got completely lost simply because we never bothered to check a bag or any of the bags that we had and realized that there was a map in there. We were literally walking around for I don't even know how long with a map that told us where exactly we were supposed to go. And by the time we figured it out that we actually had these things and we went to where we were supposed to go, it was already too late because the caravan, damn you, Jesse, that was supposed to have picked us up had already moved on. Anyway, regardless, as much as we appreciate your help, can't have a gang of outsiders doing much stir down here. We. Who's Never we? mind about that. All you need to know is that your actions have caught the attention of some powerful people. If you want to keep your heads, I suggest you get out of here as soon as possible. And don't come back. Ah. Uh. You're just gonna let us go. That's right. I'm not really big on violence anyway. Sort of a pacifist, really. A pacifist. However, a drow like dual-wielding poison daggers is a pacifist. Off. Huh. We are watching. If they try anything like this again, they'd be floating with the corpses they helped make today. And what are we supposed to do with the rest of these packages? We can't keep going through with this, can we? Ah. Uh, nope, we're done here. Good. This whole thing makes me sick. Suit yourself. The damage is done anyway. Now that we know the truth, I'm not going to keep going with this. Remember, we're watching. Oh, God. I thank you, mysterious stranger. Now just stand there while other things go on. Oh, man. Alright, so that, that'll finally take us out into Luskin, but there was something over here, I thought. Boots. Steadfast boots. Oh, wow. Well, you wish. we finally managed to make our way through. Oh, man. We never found the lair of the wolves. Uh, the other ones we could be, looks like we'll be able to uh, accomplish pretty easily. Market district. Well, we got some gold on us, too, now. I don't know if that guy sold us stuff for cheaper, but we were encumbered. I didn't really have much of a choice. Uh, Market District, settled on the Sword Coast between Neverwinter and Icewind Dale, Luskin was once a bustling port town considered the gate of the wintering north. Over the past century, however, the city sales has become known as the lawless and dangerous town, due in large in part to the rise of ruthless high captains and their ships. Alright, so it seems like pirates have almost taken over Luskin then. So that's interesting. Um, that might mean there's some good trade to be found here, though, like some interesting items. I think they said in the previous episode that the stuff does come in a lot. Um, and maybe now our friends that we found outside that we gave the deed to the property to will have a home that we can actually uh, go to as well. Oh, boy. What to do? Well, we got to turn in all these quests anyway. But now that we're finally inside the city, things should hopefully be a little smoother for us. Even though now we have, you know, people in, like, ah, high places with power I'd watching us. too much better out here. Our contact will be meeting us at a tavern called the Cutlass. It's not too far from your Luskin guild hall, actually. Though I'm afraid your guild hall here is empty. Rated by the gilded eye. Ah, uh, I'd like to see the guild hall. Aye, as would I. It's possible there's something there that'll tell us what happened. Indeed. I'll admit a certain morbid fascination. <laughs> of course. But remember that we do have things to do here in Luskin. I doubt Sorinil will wait forever. Well, hopefully we can also turn in some of these side missions as well. Quest complete. Making an entrance. Yay, about time. Oh, so we've got a couple different merchants. Weapon merchant, jewelry dealer, armor merchant. We'll come back to these guys. Right away. Uh, right now, oh, you, madam. You, I don't like. Uh, let's see. 
such a lovely day here in Luskin. I'm glad uh, I had a pass to get through those gates. Um, <laughs> why were you waiting outside? The yeah, you tricked us. Tricked you? The nature of the job like this is that you don't need to know what you're transporting. Always look in the package. Remember the movie The Transporter? Ended badly for him because he had a rule not to look in the package. My rule? Look in the package. Uh, tricked you, the nature of the job. How did you find out? We were attacked by a guy and then told us what we were doing. I'm not going to lie. We met an old man, an odd man in the sewers. He told us that you were being, that you're being watched now. Sounds like Bregan Darthur. Sounds about right, actually, yeah. Uh, weren't happy with my client's plans. A shame, since they both seem to want the same thing here. Oh, well, message received. I'm sure my client will respond in kind. Interesting. Unfortunately, you never completed the job. I guess I shouldn't have trust adventurers for work like this. You've got a lot to learn if you're going to do business in Luskin. Here, it's not what is I promised, but since you didn't finish the job, you can hardly expect more. So at least I get something for my trouble, I guess. Special delivery, 600. She's got another mission? What the hell? <laughs> well, now it is my favorite adventure. I just got another job for you folks. I don't want to do another, another job for her. Uh, yeah, what, I want to see what it is. What is it? I've heard word of a very powerful artifact that currently resides in dangerous hands. I have a client desperate to see the item return to her more responsible party. What is the item? The pirate known as One-Legged Larry recently found a new peg leg during an overseas raid. The leg isn't actually a leg at all, but a powerful weapon in the right hands. So does that mean he doesn't know it's a weapon? In which case, it's probably best that it stays with him. I like to make sure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. Yeah, fine, we'll do it. Excellent. You should find Larry lingering in the Cutlass. He's always looking for coin and other drink. Oh, we do have to go to the Cutlass eventually. Oh, uh, and don't mention any of this to him. We don't want him to realize the power he holds. Just get it away from him. Any means necessary. Uh, drinking game. Poker. Something. Uh, there's going to be some way we're going to be doing this. And there's a lot of things to explore out here. Uh, curio shop. Blacksmith. Where where do we have to go? Uh, the Alchemist. Uh, let's get those open first. Where is the Alchemist? Herbs, residence, residence, curio shop, I saw that already, blacksmith, saw that already, residence, Rolona's potions, maybe, blacksmith, book cash, residence, 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 oh yeah, where's the potion shop, down here, yeah, alright, let's set that, and... Peasant, peasant. Wait, where, where's the... There it is. Uh, Rolona's Potions. All right, let's head over that way and see what... What lies in store. Hopefully this is what it is I'm looking for. Wow, I didn't really complete a whole lot of side stuff. Rabble. I gotta find Rabble. Rolona, the alchemist. Yay. Uh, I have something for you. I'm a busy woman. Tell me what you need so I can continue my work. Uh, I've got a delivery from you for your apprentice. So, he's hiring a to do his work for him, and figures that boy is completely useless. I suppose he expected me to pay you for the job. Well, a level will do just fine. Regardless, I suppose some compensation is in order. Take this, don't ask for more. Not for such a simple undertaking. Yeah, you didn't have to go through the sewers, lady. If you want to make real coin, I've got a more dangerous task. Well suited, worth, uh, well suited to those with skills such as yours. What did you have in mind? Not long ago, a particularly powerful black putting... Pudding? 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 Yeah, good. I can I can read. A powerful black pudding took up residence outside of the city. In the cave that takes in the runoff of the sewers, rumor has it that it's something to do... Uh, something those cultists of Ganador cooked up. Um, and the guards are ill-equipped to deal with it. Okay, that must have been the cave that I saw outside the sewer entrance. It'd be a shame if they went unprepared. And an even greater shame if they let such a creature go to waste by simply killing it, if you understand what I'm saying. Great, she wants a sample. I want a sample from the black pudding. Just douse it with this potion, ideally from a distance, and then bring me back a specimen. No problem. Oh, we're gonna die. Level up for Dorian. Yay. Good times. Do I have anything else that I can do to, that I can turn in? Meet with Miranda in the slums, which I don't really know where those are yet. Um, speak with, speak to a Lydian contact about the cut at the Cutlass. 
Find the lair of the wolves. Deliver the statue to Rabble. Rabble. Wait a minute. Wasn't Rabble the guy who led us through the door? Crap. But maybe he's up here now, because it says deliver to him in Luskin. Oh, well. Well, all right, you know what? I'm going to level up Dorian, and I'm going to do a little bit of searching around here in the town so I can figure out the lay of the land and know exactly where it is I'm going. So that's going to do it for this episode, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. If you liked what you've seen and heard, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And having said all that, I will see you all on the other side. Take care.